Okay, we're back. We're back for part four of the SCX-10 custom build. And what we've done is we've coiled our wires up some and tie wrapped them in. And I got the battery wires up here and I'm going to solder Dean's connector on it. We got our servo wires tucked in. Everything is looking a lot better. And I didn't do that on camera because it's, oops, sorry about that, because it's quite boring and quite tedious and, and normally will make me cuss and nobody wants to hear that. So what we're going to do now, since we've got that, is we're going to go ahead and get this interior in before I get too far and get lost on that. So we'll get this out. I got to empty out one of my CalRC magnetic mats so I can all these little cheap old plastic servo horns that come with these servos nowadays are so hard that they're just about useless. And, uh, so let's get this part off and we'll get the interior in. Now the interior he got for his, I kind of like, it's got the, the black seats. Now what I had to do to mine when I got a, a guy to drive mine, the steering wheel was so far up I had to move it a little bit, but uh, that's no big deal. And he got a couple screws here that uh, hold the ESC switch and we're not going to use them, of course, so we take these out. Might use them on something else. Pretty small. Man. Now on the Wraith interior. So we can see here. That's where your switch normally goes. But since we're moving the battery up front and the ESC in the back, of course that isn't going to work. So what I'm going to do for them is the same thing I did for mine. So you can see it. And that's put the switch right here. And when we put his cover on, I still got to attach mine the rest of the way. We'll make the, the cutout for the switch so everything will... We'll sit, but I tell you, the more I look at this ESC, I don't even see a switch on it. So it must be when you plug it up, it's on. So one can only hope. All right, well, let me get the rest of this off and I'll be right back. Okay, well, you gotta take this top piece off right here to be able to get the interior in, of course. And uh, it does get a little funky. It's a lot easier to do it when it's Part, but you take your time, you can get it in there easily enough. You gotta wiggle it through the cage. I think I'm gonna have to take this bar off here, it's a little too tight. Maybe I can get away with just one side. Yeah, it's starting to spread apart a little better now. All right. Yeah. Let's just go ahead and take this off.
right, I think I might have to trim this. If I remember correctly, I had to trim this up some so it would fit on mine. So give me just a second. I'll be right back. Let me figure this out. Okay. Now well, we got our interior in. We had to trim a little bit of it to make it fit our new plate there. Had to get rid of this front part so the battery can sit in. And, uh, but it's okay. There's, I'm going to take off this sharp corner so we don't accidentally puncture a battery. So that got in there with our moving the battery tray forward and everything. But the interior ends bolted on. I just got to put the cage back on this little bar to put the screws back in that bar. So give me just a second. I'll let you see what it looks like when I got her done. Okay. Well, here we go with the interior end. Starting to look like a truck. Get them little dinky tires off there. I'm waiting on some uh, rims for the... Uh, well, not rims. I'm waiting on weights for the rims. And once we get them, we'll be able to put the tires on. Of course, they're bead locks, but they're a little weird bead locks. So, and they're plastic, so I don't want to take them on and off more than I have to. So we're going to wait for them, uh, them rims to come. But we'll go ahead and uh, get all ready. I'm going to make sure that he wants... I got some Dean's connectors. We're going to solder some of them on the end. I'm sure he's going to run lipo. But we still got the lights to put on and stuff. I haven't received them yet. And uh, But that interior was a bugger. You had to really cut into that some to get it. You might still need to take a razor knife and trim down that body just a little bit more. Get this tray down some. my razor knife there. The motor right there made a magnet. Magnetized it. There you go. That's a little better. Alright, well that's it for this one, just getting the interior in, looking good, we still got to make our, uh, still got to make our cover for the back, which is no big deal, I mean I've got it made, but I got to fit it, so I'm, I don't want to put that on yet until I'm sure I'm done with all the wires, so what do we got left here, let's see. Okay, there's the cover I was telling you about I made. It's out of a piece of plastic that'll cover up back here. In the uh, inside of this now. And uh, spare parts there. First I gotta put these tires on. As you can see, they'll be a, a lot taller. And then the axle rims. And these things come with their own hubs. 
that connect right to the wheel with the pin so so we don't need the 12 millimeter hex so that's good as soon as I get the weights for that so this is it for uh, part four I'll solder on this Dean's clip that's kind of boring you don't need to see that but we got her pretty cleaned up we get this top on it's a little different mine because he's got these droop kits on here so I'm gonna have to cut and adjust on that as we go but uh, until then that's it for this one so thanks for watching please like please subscribe and please comment and until the next time bye bye